South Carolina is known for its beaches, historic towns and homes, and the state is full of beauty from every corner. In today's video, we'll be covering 15 skate parks that you should check out. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. The Matt Hughes Skate Park in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina is a well-built concrete skate park that sits within walking distance to the beach. The park received a much needed renovation in 2018, but the renovation doesn't end there. American Surf Parks, a company that builds surf and skate parks around America, is planning on helping expand the Myrtle Beach Skate Park in the near future. The Hot Spot Skate Park in Spartansburg, South Carolina, also received a generous renovation in 2021. The once skate light bowl has now been replaced with a concrete bowl. New concrete features have also been added to the park, including quarters, banks, and boxes, making the park durable and fun. This park has a wide range of different things for all ability. The skateboarders of Greenville, South Carolina, have been petitioning for a free public skate park for some time now. But thankfully, while things are still in the works, Poe Mill DIY Skate Park is there for everyone to enjoy and get their session on. There have been rumors in the past about the city tearing down the DIY spot, which is extremely upsetting to the locals because there isn't anywhere else to skate. Hopefully, the Poe Mill spot is here for years to come. Possibly the only indoor skate park in the entire state of South Carolina is the Board Riders Club in Greenville. Not only is the Board Riders Club an indoor skate park, but it's a skate shop as well. Make sure to check their website, Instagram, or Facebook for the latest hours of operation, admission, and for events. A 25-minute drive south from Greenville is the town of Belton, South Carolina, which is home to the Renewal Skate Park at Fire Lake. This skate park sits beautifully located in the woods on private property, so because of that, there's a small admission fee of $10. The owners are incredible people who really care about the skateboarding community. The ramps are a ton of fun and there's a good mixture of both concrete street features and skate light transition. The Palmetto Bay Skate Park is Hilton Head's only outdoor skate park. This free park is open from sunrise to sunset and the park allows skateboards, scooters, bikes, and blades. The skate park is well built with plenty of different features for all ability of riders, including a mini ramp, pyramid, quarters, banks, and rails. A short drive from Hilton Head is the Bluffton Skate Park. This all concrete skate park is primarily transition based with large quarters surrounding the entire park and a bowl. There's also a small street section of the park that offers a stair set, ledge, and rail. This is a fun park that's free, open daily, and surrounded by other amenities and trails. Port Royal Skate Park is another skate park just north of Hilton Head by 40 minutes. This skate park is entirely covered by a pavilion, so it's the perfect spot, rain or shine. This skate park received a small renovation in 2021 where ramp surfaces and wood were replaced, making sure things are sturdy and bringing life back to the skate ramps. Whipsnake Skate Park might just be the East Coast's largest privately owned DIY skate park. This incredibly built concrete skate park is a work of art as much as it is creative and fun. Because the skate park is on private property, permission to skate is a must before entering. Easily one of the best DIY skate parks on the East Coast is located in Columbia, South Carolina, Low Block DIY. This park is extremely versatile, offering everything from rails, ledges, movable boxes, a pyramid, small quarters and banks, a pole jam, and so much more. This park has serious potential and is also very well taken care of. The locals take care of their park and want others to respect their park as well. Also located in Columbia, South Carolina is Owensfield Skate Park. Owensfield Skate Park has a very unique layout. The main section of the park flows through quarters and banks, and there's a smaller section with stairs, hubbas, and rails. The park does also offer a bowl, and in 2021, Owensfield received a brand new asphalt pump track. This pump track is perfect for skateboards, longboards, blades, and bikes. The track is a ton of fun, and it's a great leg workout. The city of Florence has a newly renovated concrete skate park as of 2021, thanks to Fifth Pocket Skate Parks. 
Lloyd Park draws skateboarders from all across the Carolinas to this incredibly built park. The skate park has two separate sections. One section that flows with a bowl, quarters, and banks. The lower section was a part of the old park and it now contains smaller street style features, rails, kickers, and boxes. There's a brand new DIY skate park in Simpsonville, South Carolina, which is only 15 minutes southeast from Greenville. It's obvious after skating here that one can tell the ramps are very well built. This DIY space is pretty huge with a solid variety of different things to ride and most ramps and boxes are small enough to learn and progress on. If you're in the area, this park is absolutely worth the trip. Before Skate Charleston was born, the only skate park in Charleston, South Carolina was the DIY skate park located under I-26 and this spot is still going strong today. This spot is built well and attracts skateboarders from all up and down the East Coast. The local shred and the park offers so much for everyone to skate. This spot is located under a bridge and out of the sun, which is perfect for those extremely hot and humid South Carolina summer days. Designed by Team Payne Skate Parks, Skate Charleston is one of South Carolina's biggest and best skate parks, coming in at 32,000 square feet. This park provides a pro shop on site, an option for skateboard rentals, and the park also has lights. Skaters are required to wear helmets while using the park, regardless of age, and Skate Charleston does have hours of operation and an admission fee of $3 per person. So there you have it, 15 South Carolina skate parks you should check out. If we left out a skate park you know of, let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed today's video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We post new videos weekly.